Beautiful pancake, oh wait, palm tree pancake. This palm tree pancake has been through some kind of storm, but that's what a 4 a.m. palm tree pancake looks like. <laughs> oh, it's like a logo. <laughs> These are really fucked up pancakes. <laughs> Your banana looks pretty good. Oh my god, Paul Hollywood, call me. Look at the middle one. I think I did a good job. <gasps> Look how pretty. Our first try. I'm calling it. I am a pancake artist. They just keep getting weirder. It looks like a saxophone. Look at all those tiny little pancakes. Pancakes for us and for our new pet. <laughs> oh my god.
officially lost track of how many days we've been in lockdown. Um, it is May 11th, but I decided to vlog this week because I've been in a rut would be an understatement, and I think it's time to snap out of it. So hopefully documenting what I'm doing each day like I used to before lockdown started will regenerate some inspiration to get things done. So welcome to uh, middle of May quarantine vlog. I did buy this exercise bike months ago in March, I think, and I've used it, you know, on and off, not as much as my quarantine fitness routine that I had dreamed up dictated, but I'm gonna try to start using it more. <sighs> Why is it so hard to just do things? It is Tuesday, um, the 120th Tuesday in quarantine, or at least it feels that way. I had a really fun little coffee chat with Erin this morning, and I finally fixed my sleep schedule, which has been my biggest challenge, so hopefully I can keep that up. I have been basically nocturnal, and it's really been messing with my productivity and my just like mood. There's not a ton going on so I'm not sure what to update you guys on but um, I'll try to find some ways to document what's going on during the day. I got this Lyrica Matoshi mask yesterday which is so cute. You get this sort of dramatic look but for now I'm still wearing this one. It is a beautiful day.
Today is a big day because we are leaving the house for the first time since we started lockdown. Like we've gone outside for fresh air and stuff, but we haven't gone anywhere. And that's exciting, so I'm all dressed up. Today we are going to the post office to return some online shopping that I should not have done. It feels weird to be outside. So our mission failed because the post office line was too long and it's peak sun right now. So if we wait there, we're going to get a sunburn and possibly pass out from heat exhaustion. So I'm going to come back tomorrow morning. This is a live stream of Manhattan right now. That's Times Square, totally empty. I am feeling very stressed today. I will try to do some meditation and see how that goes. Like most gnarly women in quarantine right now, I bought a home pedicure kit. <laughs> month is wrapping up. It is really beautiful outside every day, like 70 degrees and sunny. I'm loving it. I'm already a little tan. But we have been quarantined since March. I've been vlogging sporadically and also trying to keep up with the editing. Up until yesterday, I was editing my February footage and now today I'll finish up March. And those were the last days of freedom. So it's like bittersweet looking back on when we used to just go out and hang out with friends, for example, or go to a show or like whatever. And now the city is just starting to reopen. So it looks like some things will kind of start getting back to normal soon, we hope. I think we've decided we're going to jump ship and find a new place for August. We have outgrown this place and we really just need something bigger and we need a you know, green space and plants on the heater don't count as green space. It's just time to upgrade to something bigger. The hunt for a new living situation will resume, I don't know, in next month, I guess. We've been here for a year, which is pretty much the longest I've lived anywhere in quite a long time. So yeah, I don't know, it's been weird trying to stay productive and trying to work my way through different projects that I have on tap because every day in quarantine has been a different mental battle of like feeling excited that we get this time where the world is kind of stopped and then also this just sort of looming feeling of doom and just feelings that are not conducive to creative output whatsoever. And now that things are starting to open back up again, it's just an issue of anxiety. Like, is it a good idea? And how safe is everybody going to be? The rest of the year is just on hold. Like, we don't know what's going to happen. So I'm not really making any big plans. And we will see. Uh, wherever you are out there, I hope you're doing well. 
and I will see you in the next vlog, I guess. Wear a mask. Um, thank you for being patient while I figure out what the hell I'm supposed to even say in these vlogs anymore.